More heartbreak tonight in Williamson County. A fourth student in the district has died in a car crash, but tonight friends and classmates came together to celebrate her life. News Channel 5's Emily Luxon has more from Franklin on this latest tragedy. It was an emotional night here at Page High School. People who know Savannah Biles best came together to remember her and to support each other during a difficult time. Students, friends, and faculty braved the cold to celebrate the life of 18-year-old Savannah Biles. So I think some of them, they're obviously struggling and pulling together. Their families and friends are all coming together for the celebration tonight, which I think will help the students. Savannah's friends fought back tears as they remembered a girl with a bright smile who was a friend to many. You entered my life with the most authentic soul and beautiful heart. I'm going to miss you every day for the rest of my life. Savannah was killed while driving to school Monday morning. She lost control while trying to negotiate a curve on South Carruthers Road near Arno Road. Her car flipped and slammed into a tree. Her friends are still struggling to come to terms with the news. I'm going to miss her so much, but I know she's in a better place, and I know she's going to look down on us always. Those who knew Savannah best say she lived her life to the fullest and won't be forgotten. I love you, Savannah. I'm really going to miss you. And I'm going to do my best <laughs> to carry out my life as she would have wanted me to. And I think we all should do the same. After the vigil, students gathered to write letters to Savannah's family. And the support continues. An account has also been set up to help pay for Savannah's funeral expenses. We have a link on NewsChannel5.com. Reporting at Page High School, Emily Lux and News Channel 5. Savannah is the fourth Williamson County student to die in a car accident just in the past month. The school district is starting a task force to keep teen drivers safe. More information will be sent home to parents tomorrow.